It's probably presidential harassment, and uh, we know how to handle that. I think I handle that better than anybody. And there's been no collusion. After two years, no collusion. There has been collusion, but it's been by the Democrats. But there's been no collusion. And you're talking about uh, millions and millions and millions of dollars of wasted money. There's been absolutely no collusion. Well, that was President Trump sounding off to reporters yesterday, warning incoming House Democrats that any new investigations into his administration could amount to presidential harassment. Let's bring in Kevin Sheridan, Republican strategist and former spokesman for the 2012 Romney campaign, and Democratic strategist Roger Fisk, who worked on both the Obama campaigns, both of the Obama campaigns, and in the administration. Kevin, first to you. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Um, Kevin, so far, there hasn't been any sign of any of collusion charges, and that's what the whole Mueller probe was supposed to be about. So are continued investigations by incoming Democrats harassment, like the president says? Well, Congress is uh, uh, constitutionally obliged to conduct oversight, but it doesn't mean they... Um, do it well, as we've seen on both sides of, uh, in both parties. They don't necessarily hold any administration to account necessarily. They do forward a narrative uh, that helps with, um, you know, you know, making the case against uh, whether or not a president is, is uh, conducting himself inappropriately in office or one of the agencies is doing something inappropriate as the, uh, as in, uh, you know, Eric Holder being, uh, you know, brought before Congress and ultimately, um, you know, censured and, and uh, held in contempt. But, to this day, do you think very many Americans even know that or care about that? It's, it, it, it helps drive a narrative, but it doesn't necessarily settle the case. I think they've got the media, they've got uh, the Mueller investigation ongoing. This is just another, uh, you know, arrow in their quiver that they will use to attack the president. And it remains to be seen how successful they are. If they overreach, they will not succeed, as uh, Republicans did against Clinton. They, they failed, ultimately. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Roger, I'm sure you have a different take on this. I'm sure you feel that there are a host of legitimate investigations that the Democrats are, can launch, correct? Well, I do, but I also, at the same time, hope that they don't go uh, in the same extreme direction uh, that the House Republican leadership did with some of the kind of obedience of the Nunezes and Jordans in the world. There, there is room between the 40-yard lines to be a sober steward of one's responsibilities without going way off the reservation and completely in a partisan direction. There's a whole bunch of issues that aren't even part of the public dialogue. For example, in October, Ivanka Trump's clothing line got over a dozen merchandise licenses to do business in China. That's worth tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. A senior White House advisor getting merchandise licenses in one of our main competitors, that is a worthy subject of uh, discussion and, and scrutiny. But I would counsel the Democrats to not go as far in the left direction as the president's defenders went in the right direction over the last two years. And there's a pent up need for some oversight because the Republican leadership has been absent for the last two years. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems like everything the president does is certainly under scrutiny. And as we uh, enter into the new year and we're looking at the Democrats taking control of the House, are we going to see many more investigations? What do you think? And um, how does the president combat that when he's got so many other things on his plate? Kevin, to you first. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you're going to see uh, you're going to see oversights uh, uh, committee hearings on literally every agency. I think uh, every mini scandal you've heard about or read about uh, will be uh, investigated. To what effect? It remains to be seen. Sometimes these investigations do produce unintended results. Uh, you know, the the Benghazi oversight investigation went, went on for you know quite a while. Uh, ultimately didn't nail Hillary Clinton on Benghazi necessarily, although I think there was more there than the media gave it credit for, but did uncover the Clinton server, and that did ultimately uh, bring her downfall. So we don't know what they'll ultimately find. Uh, it, these things kind of take on a life of their own. I think if they overreach, though, if they get out ahead of the, where the American public's uh, opinion on you know, the uh, correct use of oversight is, they will pay the price politically, as Republicans did in 1998 when they went too far with, uh, with impeaching and then trying to convict uh, President Clinton. Okay, Roger, final thought on that. I know you said you don't think the Democrats should go too far, but they should do their job and they should uh, perform oversight and, and investigations that are necessary. Absolutely. I, I, the, the list can go on and on. You could limit yourself just to the cabinet, for example, 
and there's plenty of issues there that were, that are deserving of sober scrutiny. What is troubling most about the president, and it's almost as if he's never studied history at all, there's never been a president ever that's been happy with their coverage, but somehow he's able to be the champion and the victim in every situation. And that's a very adept set of kind of psychological jujitsu, but he's heading into a very difficult two years, and I'll end here. If he were to reorient and pivot and actually start to act as president of the United States and not just president of his base, some of these problems would not necessarily go away, but they would get better. But every time he doubles down on his base, he's doubling down on making things political rather than policy conversations, and that's how they're going to end up, as political conversations. All right. Well, we'll see what the new year brings. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much. Kevin Sheridan and thank Roger you. Fisk. Have a good thank day. You. Thank you.